So, uh, what is another common thing that most people, uh, especially women, are afraid of uh, in the street? It's getting pulled. So like if you're standing from behind like this, this is what's gonna happen and there's a big fear, right? Uh, more often than not, more common than not, that this kind of thing uh, may or may not happen to you. Um, so how do we deal with this? Well, first of all, as, as he pulls in, you wanna pull in your arm to your body. That will, uh, pause for a sec, that will anatomically create a frame tightening you up so he's not just pulling your arm, but your whole body. So release and pull. Right? So I come towards him because I'm pulling my arm in. Okay? Uh, that's step one. Now that we've regained our balance, what do we do from here? Uh, a lot of the times, a lot of people will tell you to do some sort of like wrist lock, you know? Or like uh, one of these, right? But again, just like uh, the difficulty, tense up, tense up your arm. I can't actually do anything because he's he's much stronger than me. But what I can do is enact the lock and key system. So what is that? The lock and key is this. Uh, make a hand. Yeah. So essentially, this is the lock that we're trying to break, right? The key is the blade of my wrist. Okay. As I bring, like any door, if you try and bring the key towards the wrong hole, it's not going to work. But if you put the key towards the lock, you can slice through, okay? That's part one. So understanding that mechanic, lock and key. Um, next one. Okay, so once you've mastered the lock and key, what you want to do is, let's say they're too strong and the lock and key's not working, right? Uh, uh, the key's not going through the lock, no matter how hard you try. To add a little bit more leverage, you bring your elbow into their elbow. Boom, just like that. Lock and key, oh, it's not working. Elbow to elbow. Lock and key, elbow to elbow, okay? Okay. Once you've mastered that technique, let's say, again, they're still too strong. So even if the locking key doesn't work, and then the elbow to elbow thing's not working, you're like, oh, I can't actually get it through, you can do like an ejector seat. And the ejector seat is, uh, you know, like in a plane, it's like, I gotta let, I gotta like, get out of here as quick as possible. That's your other arm, right? You just elbow strike the wrist, effectively breaking the grip. So not only are you using the leverage from the lock and key and the elbow system, but you're kind of like peeling it off at that point, right? You can use your other hand like this, but if you're in a, if you're with an attacker, you want to be as uh, damaging as possible. So there you go, it's not working. Bang. So uh, a pro tip for this one. As you do the strike downwards, a lot of people will think that it's gonna go together, right? And that won't actually do anything, no matter how hard I hit them. Well, we're going in the same direction. So you need this one to come up this way and your forearm to go downwards. So you're ripping it, you're ripping it. Like that. One, two, two, right? Two opposite directions. 